In this video, we're going to be looking at nuclear fission, one of the fantastic inventions of our time. I just want to say thank you to Tuition Kit who are supporting me. They can support you in your revision as well by scheduling your revision videos. All of that is available over on their website. Nuclear fission takes place inside nuclear reactors and they start the reaction by firing a neutron at a nuclei. Here we have uranium-235. It could also be a plutonium nuclei. This neutron goes in here and smashes it apart. A bit like smashing the balls apart if you're playing pool or snooker. And lots of things come off it. One, two, three, and the exam will do like you to do at least three. New neutrons, smaller nuclei, and energy. These second generation neutrons can then go and smash into further uranium nuclei. This then creates more neutrons which can smash into more uranium nuclei. This is why it's called a chain reaction because this one nuclei that started it has then gone on to make many more nuclei which can continue the reaction on and on. Energy is released from this and the energy in here we can use to generate electricity. The heat coming off of this we can use to turn water into steam and turn turbines in a traditional way. One common misconception with nuclear energy is that it is renewable. It is not. The uranium, which is a key part of it, is a rock that is dug out of the ground, is a finite resource. There are lots of other disadvantages and advantages to nuclear power. It has the potential to be dangerous. In the past few years, there have been a couple of large explosions at nuclear power plants. This has long, decade-lasting effects on the local community. The people in the local community have very long-lasting health problems. Unborn babies are going to be affected by this as well. The plant life, the animal life, the soil in the local community is affected for decades afterwards. As well as the short-term effects, um, which can be worldwide. There is also the problem of storage of waste. The waste has to be stored until it is no longer radioactive which can take hundreds of years. The advantages are that it is clean so you're not going to get any CO2 release so it's not going to be a pollutant. If we want to control a nuclear reaction we use control rods so we can move these up and down. When they are down you can see that the radioactivity rods have no way of eventually setting each other off, setting the train reaction off and then they can be moved up to control the amount of reaction that takes place. 